All right, everybody. Everybody wanted my opinion on this on Twitter, and Twitter was going crazy, so let's talk about it. Roll it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Adiano the Third, y'all guys third family. If you're new here and you're not subscribed and you like what you see at the end of the video, consider subscribing, bottom right hand corner. Now all of hip hop Twitter yesterday was blowing up because Lupe Fiasco was answering a question directly on a subtweet, not on a subtweet, on a retweet, which he often does. He, he does a lot of interaction with fans and a lot of interaction with people that ask him questions in general. And he's blatantly straight up about his answers. And the reason why hip hop Twitter was blowing up yesterday Today is because Lupe answered the question basically saying who is the better lyricist Lupe Fiasco or Kendrick Lamar and obviously Lupe said he is the better lyricist of the two and I got like so many tweets asking me like eyeball tweets or you got any comment on this so here we are first off my first comment is I can't believe people are taken back as much as they are about Lupe answering in the way that he did did saying that he is the better artist or he is the better lyricist not artist lyricist if you don't know by now let me go ahead and inform you that hip-hop and rap is an extremely like cutthroat competitive like the rappers that are in that upper echelon they're extremely competitive about their talent and their abilities that is one of the known things about rap there is no participation medal there's only one top spot and the best lyricists and the best artists in the world are gunning for it at all times so it blew my mind that people were taken back by Lupe saying that he is the better lyricist like what did you expect him to say that like Kendrick was the better lyricist especially when Lupe is like top five lyricist of all time of course he's not gonna say that and, and the people that are the people that were taken back by it let's just say the CEO or the president of, of TDE records like he lol like that I, mean, I was gonna say basic bitch but like basically he subtweeted and it, it's like a bitch move when Lupe fiasco was answering directly and you just lol fucking at him Lupe is talking directly like like about Kendrick Lamar. He didn't at Kendrick Lamar because Kendrick's all first off not really big on social media, but he was answering and using Kendrick's name directly saying that he is better than him. And then you pull this bitch move and basically LOL and don't, don't just this subtweet like he like your fucking sophomore in, in college. Like bro, I know everybody from TDE is from the hood. Have some fucking balls and don't just LOL and tweet at Lupe Fiasco directly. So obviously that shit rubbed me the wrong way, but the reason why it rubbed me the wrong way other than the subtweet is you're laughing about Lupe Fiasco saying he's better than Kendrick when Kendrick went on Big Sean's control verse and basically said that he's better than or he's or he's coming for the heads of everybody every major artist in hip-hop first off everybody thought that Kendrick was trying to start beef and that and even then I was annoyed because I'm like why can't he want to be the best why can't he want to come for these dudes heads like that is the way that hip-hop should be there's no participation medal I'm trying to bulldoze you over on my way to the top and he just made that obvious in the control verse so I don't know why everybody's all freaked out when he said that he is the better lyricist when Kendrick Lamar basically did the same thing a couple years ago. So other than the bitch move by the president or CEO of TDE by LOLing and subtweeting, like psh, that's bitch move. Come on now. Like there's no way that's not. So other than that, I think that this question is an extremely good conversation topic. And I think it all comes down to the nuance and the technicalities of the question, because to sum it all up, the question was asked, who is the better lyricist? And personally, I believe that Lupe is the probably the top lyricist of all time in my eyes. He's got some competition up there and Kendrick Lamar would be one of them, but I think he almost edges out everybody. But that is just on the who is the better lyricist. If the person asked who is the better artist, then my opinion completely switches and Kendrick Lamar is like statistically and just everything that you look at, if you looked at these two like side by side, Kendrick Lamar with all the accolades, all the Grammys, all the awards, all of the singles, all the you know commercial success albums, he is by far the better artist of the two. And Lupe Fiasco acknowledged that in the series of tweets that he posted, like re replying to the one as he clarified his position, like he, he, he even he said that he is by far the better artist, but I am the better lyricist. Now there's two main arguments or reasons or evidence for me as to why I think that Lupe Fiasco is the better artist of the two, and also why I think that Kendrick Lamar ended up being the better artist of the two as well. The first main reason is gonna be the way that Atlantic Records basically put a chokehold on Lupe fiasco's career and try to pigeonhole him into like what they wanted him to be in terms of marketability that basically was the demise of lube fiasco's successful commercial career the cool is where we had like the major success and the superstardom that was the song superstar and then food and liquor before that that is where we got the breakout track kick push and then after superstar we had hip-hop save my life like all three of these tracks 
mega successful re mega radio commercial tracks but they were written on the terms of lupe's ability to write how he wanted and write with the passion about certain topics and they he just happened to be able to make them into commercial successes after the cool that's when atlantic records basically put the chokehold and basically put like tried to pigeonhole lupe and held out his his lasers album for years because they wanted him to be an artist that he did not want to be in terms of the music he was making so because the marketing because the radio spins because the radio plays the type of production that they wanted him to be on top of like Lupe could have never been he could have never been the artist that we all thought that he could have been on that record deal because of the way Atlantic was treating him and his music and his craft lasers was dope don't get me wrong but it was still it was still not an album that I feel Lupe would have wanted to put out and I can't confirm that for sure but just because of the crazy shift in sound it almost sounds like the record label wanted this type of sound wanted these type of features and Lupe obviously obviously con contractually obligated to deliver that. So Lupe's time in the spotlight faded extremely quickly because of Atlantic Records compared to Kendrick Lamar over here on TDE where he's basically an independent artist and can put out whatever music he wants and can put out radio tracks and can put out conceptual albums and things of that nature. Like he has full reign over his entire career over here which is why he's blossomed into the artist that he has whereas Lupe, he didn't have that capability. Had Lupe had the same deal and the same structure and the same independent artistry with first and 15th I personally feel like Lupe could have been up there in terms of artistry with Kendrick Lamar but that record deal and like it plateaued his growth in terms of artistry and what and what the public viewed Lupe Fiasco as. So that's evidence in point number one as to why I think Kendrick Lamar had better success than Lupe did in terms of being an artist. But the reasons why I feel like Lupe is a better lyricist, there's a couple of them. One, the dude was crazy far ahead of his time. He was talking about anime. He was talking about Goyard. He was talking about like street. He was talking about high fashion clothing. He Everything that rappers talk about today, Lupe was talking about five to seven years advan in advance of today's music. And he was talking in similes and metaphors and complete like whole ass songs that were nothing but one long wordplay. He was doing that before wordplay was even wordplay. 06, the rap game did not, was no one was really talking about like flipping words and flipping the English language in the way that they did. Like I said in a past video, I think that, I think that Lil Wayne made that a very popular style of music because that's the way that he did it. But other than Lil Wayne, Lupe Fiasco was doing it and he was doing it at such a higher level in terms of like intelligence and how long the wordplay went on for. So one, I think that Lupe Fiasco at the beginning of, of his career was way ahead of his time. The second reason as to why I think that Lupe is a better lyricist is because he is arguably by far the best conceptual writer that rap has ever seen. The entire story of Michael Young history, the cool, the game, and the streets, and how the cool, the game, and the streets basically all team up in order to suck Michael Young history, who is basically a symbol of all young black men in the hood. Like the conceptual idea of that entire of that entire storyline that spanned over two albums, that is but could be the best story could be the best fictional concept story that has ever been written in all of rap and that is just one example of the conceptual creativity that that Lupe Fiasco has and even if we're not talking about an entire two album conceptual fictional story even within individual songs he has some of the strongest concepts that I've ever seen. The, the, the song Gotta Eat in 07 was one long simile and metaphor and one long twisting of the English language to for one song to mean two things. And then we have entire songs like Dumb It Down where he's talking about his record label and where he's talking about the radio, you know, wanting him to dumb down his lyrics and make them and make them more appealing to a, bro to a broader audience and a younger audience. And in the song Dumb It Down, he has some of his most complex verses on the entire song the dichotomy of what he what the industry wants for him to do and then he just goes straight up against that and does the complete opposite and then the storytelling capability of songs like hip-hop saved my life hurt me soul switch the science project off of his fahrenheit first and 15 revenge of the Nerd, nerds mixtape like yo not only one of the strongest conceptual writers not only one of the strongest like with the pen and and a master of the english language but also one of the best storytellers that rap has ever seen as well 
And I know that Kendrick Lamar's storytelling capability is like fucking top tier. The entire Good Kid Mad City is one long story. The entire album Damn is one long story. Like I'm not discrediting his, his storytelling capability at all. And I actually think that they are both on that level, like back and forth, back and forth in terms of their capabilities when it comes to writing a story. But that brings me to my next and last point in terms of why I think that Lupe is the better lyricist is because his range in terms of what he can rap about, the styles that he can rap in, the different topics, political rap, hood rap, braggadocious rap, futuristic rap, storytelling rap, wordplay, word heavy, and bar intense rap. Like this dude can fit whatever lane he wants to fit in and his voice goes on whatever type of beat sounds best. It, it, it goes with everything. He's got songs with Bun B and he's got songs with Bruno Mars. And this point is really the main one why I feel like Lupe is the better lyricist because Kendrick Lamar in his lane, he is easily one of the best lyricists of all time. And his lane is like the hood lane storytelling capability of life in Compton, aggressive rapping, political topic rapping, like in that lane. He is the best right now and potentially the best of all time in that lane. But Kendrick Lamar, because of the persona that he has, because of the because of the serious nature of his music, he, I can't really see Kendrick Lamar fitting every single lane. Kendrick Lamar takes his pen and paints us one of the most vivid, realistic, visceral images of like life in Compton and life in the hood and life life in the, the like the black experience in the United States like that is his lane and he does it better than everybody but outside of this lane I don't know if he has and I don't know if it's possible for him to go and take take his pen and take his talent and spread it amongst all different types of rap he is an expert right here where Lupe is an expert right here right here right here right here right here he can basically do everything at that top tier level and that is why I believe that he is the best lyricist of the two just best lyricist best artist of the two I agree with everybody, including Lupe Fiasco in saying that Kendrick Lamar is by far the better artist of the two. If you agree or disagree, let me know in the comments. I do try to read every single comment, even if I don't reply. But that brings us to the end of this video today, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you see, please consider liking, leaving a comment down below. If you want to support me and the channel, because the only way that I get paid like in life right now is through the Patreon. So if you want to potentially show some kind of monetary support over there, I would gladly appreciate it. Hit up the Discord, hit up Twitter, hit up Instagram, all linked down in the description below follow all of those that brings us to the end of today's video thank you for your time like i always say at the end of all videos go out there in the world love and care for one another love and care for each other and i'll catch everybody on the next video peace 187 on my second i reckon this is an assault with a deadly session of soft peace and blessings to the sentence i'll be repping all across in every direction locality and section that know lupe's the killer give it how i live it most people won't believe or achieve how i did it most people won't receive till i leave and i bereave the secrets to my sickness how i flooded the streets like venice i've suffered demanded withstanded pimp handed and hustled i'm colonel mustard with the speech they ain't catching me no suspicions is sticking no convictions on my rap sheet i'm so committed and lay my murder game that sweet Speak easy like prohibition, no admission If you ain't knocking like me to the underground bar Burying the toast, dodging the raid like roach Homie, please I make him give up the ghost, the trifecta The third, I defa Homie, you ain't heard my lecture like Lecter Let you in on a secret, but you can't leak it Lupe's the killer Since my entrance, my people had packs I moved them to the trap like Winston Far from busters, baby, nah All my homies henchmen I was the rhymer While talking through the walls like Slimer Or like eating vagina Or a straight bullet whichever ways I put it crooks was hooked like crooks through neighborhoods I pushed it little Caesar's homies pizza was like book if delivery mean like Leroy Green you couldn't take it to the places I took it beware you ain't looking you ain't dressed for this affair I'm hooded in the bushes like uh